Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, so uh, my apologies, my window is open. I need it open because the fresh air just feels so good right now, y'all. So I just want to have it open. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's get started. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Mm. All right, so um, cancers, this is either you or someone connected to you that's been drinking a lot or doing something in excess. Whatever it is that's being done in excess is being done to suppress one's feelings, to suppress one's emotions. I feel like someone did something that they now regret. I feel like someone did something that was low vibrational, something that was not in their best interest, and now they're suffering the consequences of said choices. Mm. I also feel like there's this energy of, I told you so, like, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that I told you so energy or... Um, someone feeling like I knew this would happen. I feel like someone is relaxing. Okay, so it's kind of like two different types of energy that's showing up. One person is feeling stressed out while the other person... Okay, I may have to shut the window because... Yeah, let me go ahead and shut this window. I apologize. I thought we would be able to work through it, but the car noises are getting on my nerve now. All right, well, that worked out great. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, y'all, we got one energy that um, someone is just like really feeling stressed out, um, feeling sad and feeling depressed, while the other energy feels relaxed uh, or, or is doing things that's relaxing because I'm seeing here, go get a spa, a massage, and meditate. So it's kind of like two different energies. And yeah, I'm seeing here success. And you see the contradiction? So we got success, and then we got here getting tested for disease. So I feel like, that's what I'm saying, like th these feels like two separate energy. Like someone is experiencing success in their energy, relaxing, and um, just in this energy of feeling like, I, like someone has this discernment, this foresight that is just like immaculate like in how they operate and how they move while the other person like I said is stressed out overindulging it says here sold their soul to the devil having to get tested for STDs or diseases in general someone may be going to the doctor getting tested for um, whatever but it just feels like two separate energies over here all right let's get into yeah I feel like Whoever this person is, regardless of which side you're on, I feel like there's no communication. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this could be someone that frustrates you. Tell me about cancer when it comes to the situation. Yeah, the page of pentacles is coming out for you. So this is you with success. And I'm seeing here the death card. You've gone through some sort of transformation. And as a result of this transformation, I feel like you're putting your energy towards like physical things, tangible things that bring success. You're even doing things that's successful. That's what I'm saying. Like you're in this Zen like energy, um, this light worker. It's like you're doing spiritual things or mindful things. Tell me about this person over here. The higher fine is coming in for this person. It's interesting we got the devil and then we got the higher font. This is repenting. Someone is repenting because they sold their soul to the devil. They did something that they now regret. And so it's like they're trying to repent. Yeah, see they're coming as the page of cups and you came as the page of pentacles. Yes, they're in their feelings. That's what I'm saying. Like there's depression, suffering, drinking. Because even right here they're drinking. And right here there's a cup in their hand drinking. Um, and I'm seeing this fish. So I feel like this person could have been warned. This is making me feel like they were told. That's why, remember I started out saying, I told you so. It's like this person could have been warned beforehand and then did something that they now later regret. And they're asking for forgiveness. But it's like asking for forgiveness from a higher power. 
because the devil seems to have some sort of grip on them. Yeah, this other person is at some sort of impasse in their life. They're feeling a little bit stuck and not sure how to deal with the consequences of whatever it is that they're presently facing. What happened? Yeah, this could be someone that's always partying. And remember, we see here disease. So I feel like this is someone that lives like a toxic life. So I feel like they may have like health issues for how they mistreated their body. So they may have like, um, they may be going to the doctor because they may not be feeling well because they haven't been, like I said, low vibration. They were not taking care of themselves. A lot of heavy drinking and it's catching up to them. See, yep, yeah, bad karma. Bad karma for this person. What else can you tell me about them? So that's what I'm saying. They're dealing with the consequences. They got bad karma. This person did something bad. Now here's the consequences. While you're over here doing good things. And you're going to reap the consequences of the things that you've done. I'm going to get over there in a second. But anything else about this person? Into you. Whoever this person is, they are into you. It says good chemistry, great vibe positive when it comes to you so what is this energy i'm seeing here fishing for comments so whoever this person is i feel like they're hoping to hear from you they're they could be looking to hear from you hmm tell me more about this energy for them when it comes to you it's like maybe they're they're hoping you will reach out to them cancers whoever this person is they're hoping to hear from you and we got, yeah, because see, they may be blocked. They feel blocked by you, whether it's physically or energetically. And I'm seeing here this fake smile there. So you may not realize how depressed this person is because they may be walking around, you know, as if they're okay when really they're not. They're tripping over you, tripping on you. This may be someone that smokes or does, it's maybe some, they may do something like, uh, maybe it's like, cause this is making me feel like, you know how when you drink and you become drunk, like I feel like there's something around this energy with this person where they're using something, some sort of substance that doesn't put them in their right mind. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if this person like uses this substance to give them the courage and confidence to approach you. Yeah, see, Ch see, look, chasing here, <laughs> reaching out to you. I would not be surprised if this is making me feel like because I'm feeling like a psychedelic type of energy being like loose, like not lucid, but being loose, you know, uh, not feeling restricted as one felt but using something to loosen them up whether it's alcohol or some sort of substance it's like they're taking that to loosen them up and I feel like when they get into that state they're going to reach out to you we got here Carlos so they may be moving in silence we got here no car repo car issues so there could be something going on here. And we got here a legal issue. Hmm. This person, this person may be concerned that something is going to happen to their car. Maybe someone is out looking for their car. Maybe they're concerned their car is going to be repoed because we got here moving in silence. They could be, because remember we saw that they were at an impasse when it comes to their life, when it comes to their world. They may be dealing with um, a legal situation where maybe going to court and someone could be coming to take their car. But it's like they're moving around in secrecy. They're hiding. Why are they hiding? There's, there's more, um... There's a lot to this person's energy. Why are they hiding? It just feels like they got a lot going on. They got some they they got some bad karma. That's why the Carlos is coming in. Hmm. Spirit, what is this moving in silence and this Carlos situation about? See, pop up. 
spontaneous, unexpected. I told you something is going to happen where out of nowhere they're going to contact you, but they're contacting you in some sort of state that's not lucid. They're they're on something. They they feel like they need that to give them the strength to contact you. Escapade, vacation. Hmm. They may be looking to get away. But what, clarify Carlos. And it says here, hide away. And then it got here, moving in silence. This person is hiding. Maybe they don't want to get served. Or maybe they're going through, like, like I said, some sort of legal situation. It's like they're wanting to hide. Why? You see, they may also, somebody may be trying to serve them for some sort of financial situation. This could, this doesn't even necessarily have to be, because it says child. This could be like some sort of financial support, whether it's child support, alimony, or the government. They have some sort of legal situation that I feel like they, they, they're wanting to get away from. See, it says escaping, even again, escaping. They want, they're trying to run from some sort of financial situation. And maybe it's affecting their car where their car could get taken. Yeah, look, divorce. Divorce. That's what this is coming from. Someone could be trying to find them or it could be vice versa. They could be looking for someone else so that they can go through with this divorce. Maybe someone else is running from them, moving in silence on them, and they want them served so they can break free. Okay, so um, it could be that way as well. See, because they're wanting to get away, escape, and paradise. It's like they're wanting, they may want this situation to be taken care of so that they can move on. Because I told you they at an impasse in their world, and it's because of this legal situation. It's because of this financial situation. Trying to either either they're being served or getting or serving someone. It could be one or the other. It's not going to be the same. See, look, for everyone, we got here arrested and jail time. And look, this says celebration. So they may be looking to get someone arrested. Yeah, see, somebody's playing games because they keep moving. Like there's something, like I said, there's something going on over here in their world, just so you know. But like I said, we saw that they're going to reach out to you. Maybe this situation will get wrapped up, which is why celebration is there. Let me see. Um, what's their energy? Yeah, the deck that I grabbed here is cope. Drinking, pills. Like there's something going on with this person. What's their energy when it comes to cancers? Shattered. Yeah, see, shattered. That's where that coping is coming in. Feeling depressed when it comes to you. What's this person's energy when it comes to cancer? Shattered, trying to cope. And pregnancy. Hmm. Why is there? It says fake news. What's this pregnancy DNA about for um, them when it comes to cancer? Side hustle. I don't know what this got to do with you, cancer. Maybe you. They definitely want to show that addiction. Is this person, this person wants to get you pregnant or they want to get pregnant by you. Take it how it resonates. There's, I'm telling you, there's something about getting pregnant, getting someone pregnant. Um, clarify this, um, pregnancy. Well, I told you, I want to have your baby. <laughs> I told you. And that's why I grabbed this deck because this is, this is what I was feeling with this card. And look, writing a letter. Y'all. This person is working another job or they have some sort of side hustle because remember they sold their soul to the devil and they got bad karma. They're trying to clear up their karma, but they have some sort of other stream of income or something that they're trying to get off the ground perhaps with this side hustle because they want to have a family with you. They want to have your baby or they want you to have a baby with them. They want to get you pregnant or want to get pregnant by you. See, I want to spend the holidays with you. They want a family with you. Tell me more about this person when it comes to cancer. You, you all got some interesting energy coming in with this person. Uh-oh. See, look, I'm, 
I am currently saving up to provide a future. That's where the side hustle is coming in. I would love for us to have our own home together. I am currently working very hard towards this goal. That's what they want you to know. Why? Because I want to have your baby or I want you to have a baby. And for some of you, this doesn't have to be a baby. This could just be, I want us to live together. I want us to have a life together. I want us to be together. See, I want to let you into my life. I don't want to hide in the shadows watching from afar because that's what they've been doing. Tripping over you, not approaching you, having to take something to cope because the way that they feel for you is intense. But I don't feel like they're trying to show you that. They got to work up the courage to approach you watching from afar. And it says here, I am getting ready to come forward. Then I say, don't be surprised. Because they're getting ready, it says, to tell you how I feel about you. There's something about how they feel about you. And remember we saw the pen and writing a letter? I would love to take you on a holiday. They want to escape with you. They want to go on a vacation with you. Mm. There is some, again, here's the pen and pad. There is something about this person's feelings for you. Let me see. There's something about, um, I can't even get to your energy. They're consuming it. There's something about their feelings for you. Let me see. Tell me more. Because this feels, hmm, I don't know. It's just something, yeah, see, holding back. They've been holding back. It says, how about you stop holding back? This person was holding back. Like, I don't feel like you really know how this person feels. Tripping on you. So into you, because remember, look, into you, look, tripping on you. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't feel like you know how deep it is. They don't know how to even deal with these feelings. That's why they feel like they have to take something because they don't to cope because they don't know how to deal with their feelings for you. It says, I got insecure about our future. That's why they started to work so hard. And see, feeling broken at the moment. They got insecure. Even this deck over here says, the next card which says, I have self-confident issues. I have a habit of running from my emotions and avoiding them. You mean the world to me. I told you. I don't think you know that. Like this person feels like you mean the world to them. I am working on myself, which is what they've been doing. Trying to save up to build a future. Because they want this with you. I am working on myself to build the courage. Told you liquid courage for some of them. To make you an offer you can't refuse. And this may be in the vacation because it says, I would love to take you on a holiday anywhere you would like to go. Would you come away with me? That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't feel like you know how deep they haven't been able to communicate how deep they feel about you because this is something new for them. See, I'm mad because I can't have you. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm angry because I can't have you. And then we got here, uh, it's not just about sex. So it's not just about that. That's what I'm saying. It's deeper for this person. It's not lust for them. It's not just lust. It's deeper. They want a life with you. Again, some of you, they want to get pregnant by you or get you pregnant. That song, um, there's this song by Drake. I think it's called Controller. And the, the, the verse that came into my mind was Jodeci cry for you. When he says like he a Jodeci cry. Like I said, like you know that song that Josie has where I will cry for you. Like that's what I'm getting with this person. Like this, I feel like this person is very emotional when it comes to you. So much so that they will cry for you. And I'm, I was shown that masquerade picture where the mask, like this person wears a mask. That's what I'm like, I don't feel like you know how much of an effect you have on them. See, even right here, it just feels like this is someone that will be putty in your hands, weak over you. 
I feel like there are some issues around family, like their, their, their family. I'm talking about like maybe like their mom, their sister, their father, their brother, aunt, uncle. It's like there's something around them uh, when it comes to family that is significant for them. But all right, I'll look at your energy a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what is going on with Cancer's energy. Oh, you're not playing, Cancers. You got the Five of Swords coming in. There's something about this situation here for you where you're in a Five of Swords energy. The thing about you being in this Five of Swords energy, I feel like maybe you did some things in that Five of Swords energy. Like maybe you did some things to get back at them. Uh, maybe you could have been playing games or maybe you were trying to one up them. It just feels like you did something that could have been done out of spite or out of anger. But I feel like deep down you regret it. I feel like you regret some of the things that you um, did when it came to this person. Because it's like no matter what you did, you still have this love for them. You have this like this... I want to say it's like nurturing type look because even right here she's holding on to she's holding on to him and the empress is showing up it's kind of like I I, I don't want to I don't, don't make this weird when I say it but it's like a motherly type love that you have for this person not like you're their mom or anything but I just feel like you have like this um this like really like it's not just sex for you either like you really love and care for this person like you may call them baby or you may feel like this person is your baby that's what this is giving me with this empress energy like that's my baby like I, I love I love him I love her you know that's what I'm getting on your end I feel like you actually have compassion for this person you you have some regrets over what happened here because I feel like you just got tired though because it feels like maybe some things were going on and I feel like you got fed up, but then there's still this part of you that still feels, um, I don't know, maybe you feel sorry for them. I don't know. Like, it just feels like compassion. Let me see. Uh-oh. So, yeah, perseverance is what fell out. Celebrate and trust your power. So... I don't know. I just feel like you've... Let me see. Tell me about cancers when it comes to the situation. That's probably where this relaxed energy is coming in. Like you being in a place of where you're relaxed. So you're seeing things from a different, like, loving view. Despite having told them so, if you did tell them so. And that's probably where this mother energy is coming in at too. Like maybe this person was acting like a child. And I feel like there could have been like, especially when we're seeing the pages, because we saw a page of cups come in. So they haven't stepped into that emperor energy. And you're in this empress energy. It's like you progressed from the page of pentacles to now being in this empress. So at some point, I feel like it was like that, like a parental type of thing. Like you having gotten your life together. And it's like you need to get your life together. Like scolding them at one point. I told you you needed to do this. But I feel like I said, I feel like you're having compassion for this person. All is flowing. See, yeah. And because I even right here with the unseen, I feel like there's something about you with this I told you so energy of being able to see, foresee, having foresight, knowing what was going to happen. And but despite despite that, but despite that, um, still having love for them. It says, oh, two, two cars came out. We got here the first steps. There's something about walking in their shoes, which is where I feel like you're looking at it from that perspective, like in the sense of having compassion for them because you may know something about what they're going through or you may have an idea that maybe, you know, walking in their shoes, their life, their experience is like, it's just different. What do I mean by that? Okay. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm not uh, explaining it right. I feel like you're having grace for this person because you may be looking at it from a perspective of 
like they're going through something that maybe you haven't experienced. So it's like you don't know how you would act if that was something that was happening to you. And plus you seeing this person as someone that's behind and having compassion that they need to go through their journey and go through their process and grow up. And that's like, like it's like you're looking at it from, you know, well, I'm not in their shoes and having grace for them, though, because of what they're going through. And it says here, all is flowing. That's something like I feel like you're just going with the flow. You're balanced. You're, um, you, it's like a Zen energy with you, just surrendering and just letting go and holding space for them. It says you are exactly where you are supposed to be. If you do not feel good in your current circumstances, it's only to show contrast. But that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like. I, don't, I feel like you're doing things to feel good for yourself, though, but also holding space for them. Let me see. Let me um, see. How is cancer? There's something about your energy, though. Yeah, see here, warming the heart. True love heals the coldest heart. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel like you're having animosity towards them. See, spiritual, advanced abilities. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have some sort of foresight. It's like you could, prediction, psychic. And that's why I feel like maybe you know things. You know things about them that they haven't told you. So it's like you're having grace for them. And I feel like you're, you love them. You're, you could even be sending them loving energy because you know their shoes and their path has been hard for them. That's what I feel like. Yeah, because there was some sort of disconnect, a breakdown in communication. Because I feel like, remember I said having regrets over saying or doing something with this disconnect? I feel like there was a, some time where, you know what I'm saying, you were feeling animosity towards them, spiteful towards them. But I feel like that energy is changing. You're letting go. You're softening up in that empress energy. Yeah, see here, a shame can't face you. Hiding. That's what I'm saying. You know. There's whatever it is that this person is hiding from. When it comes to you, I feel like you know. They haven't told you, but they feel guilty about it. And you already know. Let me see. Tell me, how is Cancer feeling about this person? Hey, see, you're headed in the right direction. There's something, that's what I'm saying. There's something, the way that you're acting is actually working. It's helping. If anything, it's definitely, again, look at here. See, spiritual advanced abilities. Look, escape from the world together. I feel like deep down, the reason why you're able to be at peace and zend out, because you know what's going to happen with you and this person. You know that the two of you are going to escape from the world together. You already have advanced spiritual abilities to know what is going to happen. That's why you're in this zen, lovey energy. Anything else? Yeah, see, I told you. I told you. You love them. You care about them. Your person is thinking of you right now. This is someone you are thinking about and you love them. See, calm waters. You're calm. They're the ones that's stressed out. They're the ones that's going through it. They're the ones that's hiding and can't face you. But you, on the other hand, it's like, I already know what was going on. I'm good. I'm just waiting for you to say something. I'm just waiting for you to apologize. I just feel like you're still holding space for them. All right. Let me see. Tell me about this person when it comes to cancer. See, precious, valuing time. See, look, sad. Told you. They want time with you, wanting to spend time with you, but feel sad. They're going to give you something. They feel sad and feel unhappy. They're going to give you something. And remember I said a song, a love song. Go listen to that Drake controller and again, go listen to um, Jodeci cry for you. Like I feel like this person is really emotional when it comes to you. Yeah, see, com communication, success. I feel like this person is mad and I feel like they're mad because they think that you don't care. Because you, you, you're over here. It's not like you're not caring. You're just good. You are just, you're unbothered. You're unfazed. You're, you have surrendered and you're trusting in the process. You are headed in the right direction. They need to catch up. All right. Let's, um, let's see what's going to happen here. What is going to happen here? What's next? 
Let's, as a matter of fact, let's see. What is going to come cancer way that they don't see coming? What is coming cancer's way that they don't see coming? You're manifesting something. Manifestation, mystical, the magic of you. There's something about the magic of you that's going to be happening. What is the magic of cancer? What is this about? Ooh. Someone finds you magical. So much so, what you're not going to see coming. You see those rings right there? Look, marriage, soul marriage, bride, groom, wedding. That's what you're manifesting. And you don't even realize that you don't even see it coming. This is that gift. Someone is going to look multiple gifts. There's a ring right there. And here are the rings. This is what's coming your way that you don't see coming. A soul marriage. You're manifesting it here. All right. An eternal flame. Divine soul love. See, penetrating, breaking through the walls. Hmm. Should I go for it? Somebody's going to go for it. All right. Let's close out with a final. Um... Oh, look. The deck that I grabbed. There are some more rings. Every love song tells me that you are the one I should marry. Remember, I was telling you about songs. Look, marriage, every love songs is telling this person. That's why it's good that they're by themselves and thinking about you. Because there are things coming to them to let them know that you are the one. Let's just get married. I have always known that you are the one for me. That's what's going to happen. Coming straight in. Being in separation. Coming straight in. Let's get married. I already know you're the one for me. That's why I feel like someone. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't realize how deep it is for them. They're like I want to marry you. They are really. And I don't even feel like you've had a relationship with them. Get over here and let me taste your sweet kisses. And. Um, okay. I can't say that. <laughs> I'm not going to. Look again. Marry me. Mm, okay, I'm not going to say this, but there's something like really um, physical. Remember it says it's just not just about sex, but they do want that with you. There's something um, about that energy that's showing up for them when it comes to you with how they want to please and be pleased. And we got here. I, mm -hmm, yeah. Oh my gosh, this person. Let me tell you this. It says, I hunger for the taste of your honey. This person is really into things with the mouth. Okay. Receiving and giving. And I am gifting you with my heart. Please treasure it and keep it safe. Handle with care is fragile and priceless. This person is very emotional. There are something. this, And I feel like they, when they love, they love deeply. That's why there's been a lot of hesitation in, in, in this impasse for this person. Because they love very hard. They want to be certain who they give their heart to. Because I feel like this person is very rare and unique in how they love. They, I feel like they're looked at as being someone that they're not. Like this person may be looked at as someone that's like hard or someone that um, is tough. But they're really like so sweet on the inside. It's like a hard shell, but you know, soft on the inside. That's what I'm getting with this person. They're not who you think they are or people think that they are okay all right that will conclude the reading bye